What's going on guys? Welcome to Brothers OG Network. I am your host, White Kanye the Great. Today, we are going to review the movie, Joker. I am the greatest. I want to let everybody know that the end of the review will be the spoilers and the first half will be my views and opinions without spoilers. So spoiler free review for the first part and of course spoilers at the end. For everybody that has already seen the movie or wants to know what happens in the movie that doesn't want to actually see it. So first things first, it's a pretty good movie. Okay, but it's not a superhero movie whatsoever, guys. If you're walking in this thing like it's going to be Heath Ledger's Joker or, uh, you know, any other Joker, it's not that type of Joker. This is a biopic on mental illness. Now, someone with mental illness, I like to think that some of this was very realistic, but other parts of the movie really didn't... I think it was just too much at times from Joaquin Phoenix. Like I was like, that's not really what it's like with a mental illness. But regardless, there's there's gonna be a ton of different opinions and reviews of this movie. Personally, I thought it was good. Okay, I think it's worth watching. I think it's awesome. Some people will say that it's gonna spark some uh, type of revolution with the poor against the rich, um, some type of terrorism and stuff like that. And I say, you know what? It's probably not gonna. Case. If anything, it's just going to spark a revolution where I take over the world. But anyways, that's for a different story in a different day. So the score was really good in the movie. The music fit it. It was actually pretty funny at times. Um, you know, very savage. You know, really savage is the best way to describe this movie. Uh, but overall, Joaquin Phoenix did an amazing job. Very memorable. Really made you think when you left the movies. Um, but it is a little slow pace, so if you're expecting a superhero bullshit movie and you're expecting fast-paced action and explosions and superpowers, this is not the movie for you. But if you want to take a deeper look into what can make somebody into the Joker, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal movie that shows you how just a normal person like you and me can turn into the Joker. Now, the movie was pretty unpredictable. You know, like, I, I, I didn't think a lot of things that did happen would happen. And honestly, some of the most unpredictable things were I thought Joker would become Joker a little bit sooner in the movie. So it does take a while for Joker to kind of fully develop, which is fine. You know, this is supposed to be his origin story. But again, I almost wish he was a little bit more Joker-esque in the beginning. It's like he just made this full transformation within a movie and almost felt not rushed but almost unbelievable but but still with the circumstances it was very believable it was a good, good movie so now we're going to get into spoilers guys first things first why the hell did bruce wayne just sit there and let a stranger put his fingers in his mouth like that doesn't scream bruce wayne to me but regardless, we find out that Bruce Wayne's father, Thomas Wayne, is a complete douchebag. And in my opinion, is Arthur Fleck's father in this universe. Obviously, Joker would be too old to fight Batman in this universe. But in this universe, Joker causes the mayhem and the riot that ends up killing Bruce Wayne's parents. Which I kind of had that theory in the beginning. But it was pretty cool to see this whole transformation. One of my favorite scenes is when he's almost pretty much fully Joker. And he kills one of the, one of the snitches that told on him that said that basically he bought a 38 revolver off of him. And he's like, what the hell, man? Like, you basically gave this to me. You forced it upon me. But anyways, that guy's a snitch. So he goes over to his house. 
And Arthur Fleck, Joker, kills him with some scissors. And there's this uh, miniature person, midget, whatever you want to call him. And it's so funny. The whole time, you're just hearing people in the audience thinking, like, oh, he's going to die, he's going to die. And he just lets him out and lets him go. Kisses him on the forehead and be like, you know, you're always nice to me, man. Thank you. Which really goes to show, be nice to the awkward. Be nice to everybody. Because you never know who can turn into the Joker. You know, they're just going in there. And they say, hey, that guy was nice. Anyways... Furthermore, I think what proves that Thomas Wayne is Joker's father even more was the picture that he saw after he kills his mother. So Joker kills his mother, but then he sees this picture that says, I love your smile, uh, T.W. Thomas Wayne, obviously. So to me, that really shows me that they probably did have an affair. That probably is his father. She didn't seem insane in the mental institution. She said that was part of the agreement with Thomas Wayne. You know, that he, uh, Arthur Fleck would be adopted. So I get where, like, kind of the, the madness came from. And then he goes on the Murray show and says, can you call me Joker? I love that. That was great. And then he just pops a cap in, you know, Murray's head. Which was really violent for live TV at the time. It was just all over Murray Franklin dead. And Joker goes to the mental institution, which we don't see how he gets caught. Like, the cops do catch him, but the, all the Joker people in the mask free him. And they're cheering for him. He's super happy. And then he's talking with the same doctor from earlier. And he starts singing the song in the background, which makes me think maybe Joker's super sane in this version a lot of theories around the internet that joker is super sane and that he knows it's a comic book he knows it's a cartoon or whatever and he's just playing along and the reason that makes me think that he's super sane in this universe is that he starts singing the song that's playing in the background and he walks away with some bloody footsteps because he killed her and it's like he knew he thought his life was a tragedy now he knows it's a comedy because he knows it's a movie he knows Again, that's just a theory that I have. But regardless, I'd love to hear what you guys thought in the comments. Please let me know what you guys thought of the movie, if you're going to see it, if you have seen it, and if you guys want me to review any other movies. But until next time, guys, remember, subscribe, like this video, hit the bell, check us out on Instagram, WhiteKanye2.0, and our sponsors, Brothers OG, on Instagram as well. Until next time, you guys.